In this video, I'm going to be using eye candy, Sora Iro Blue. Also going to be using uh, from eye candy, Suiko Blue and Dark Turquoise from Just Resin. All right, I'm going to be trying out Win 3D Bubbles. We're going to see what we can do with these. Uh, maybe we can make some 3D effects. I want to find a way to get uh, my stuff to look 3D. So let's try that. Okay. All right. I think we're going to do a smaller board because I don't want to mess up a big board. So let's do a small board. I want to get the hang of these 3D bubbles and try some different techniques uh, before I jump into something big. All right, so let's do it. I haven't really seen any examples that I wanna try out with these. I'm just gonna give it a go from what I would do. All right. We're gonna do, I'll probably do like four ounces. If I have some left over, it's okay. I'll just do a coaster or something. This is Masapoxy's Art Pro. Let me get you guys where you can. All right, so we're gonna do two ounces of this and it's probably going to be too much but it's okay that I need a little bit of resin for so I'm not stressed all right so when you're using most tabletop and art resins coating resins they are usually a one-to-one -one mix ratio and we're gonna mix by volume not by weight okay um, one thing when I'm doing my pours like this, I am going to set it in some hot water. I'm going to set all this stuff to the side. I'm going to bring my hot water over. We're going to get this set in here. And I am going to start mixing. So the reason that I'm going to mix this up while I let it sit in here is because I put the B in first. A lot of times when people put the B in... Um, the hardener is B. Um, it's thinner than the actual resin, okay? So um, that is why we don't measure by weight. So usually when you measure by weight, they'll have to put some kind of additive or something in to make them weigh the same if they have a one-by-one one weight ratio. Um, that's why I try to stick with the resins that I find that works. So I'm gonna get this mixed up. Can you see how having it in the hot water has allowed all the bubbles, well, a lot of the bubbles to come up to the surface? This doesn't really matter for surface pours, but I do like it for casting. I still try to get rid of the ones um, in the surface pores. Now you don't want to leave your resin in hot water too much because this is going to cause an exothermic reaction and while it does need an exothermic reaction to cure, we don't want it to happen as a flash cure, okay? So if you put your resin in water, always have a napkin so that way when you're pouring, none of this water goes into the resin because resin in water does not mix. I'm gonna show you simple wave technique. I'll start probably in the middle of the board. Um, I'm gonna bring it probably out like this and we'll do some 3D waves and bubbles. Sorry for kicking that. Um, I do like paper cups for my... I need to get some more small ones. I 
I like paper cups for my clear and my white, though you can use your mixing stick. I'm gonna use this for the Lux Bubbles. And on one of them, I'm gonna put the bubbles down first. And on the other one, I'm gonna put the bubbles down second. And we're just gonna kinda play with it and see what we get. So, let's do that. All right, so this is the dark turquoise. I like to use, um, I like to use different products for, I like to use, all right, so I like to use three different blues when I do my, um, when I do my oceans. Um, this gives me depth and I don't know, it's just so pretty. So they always turn out really, really, really pretty. So we're gonna do that. Um, I am gonna do my white in here. We do not need a lot of any of this at all. So here I'm going to put these Lux 3D Bubbles. And I'm going to kind of show you guys. I think I might have put too much resin in there. <laughs> no, I don't want them to just like stand out. I want them, I know the look I'm going for. I'll probably push a lot of this resin out. So this is kind of the look that I'm going for like that, okay? All right. You don't want to add too much white because your white will take over. And I need a stick. One more stick. Okie doke. Definitely added way too many way too much resin in there so we're gonna put more balls <laughs> alright so I'm gonna set this stuff to the side There's our dark, turqu dark turquoise. Here's our Suiko blue. And this is our Sora Iro from Eye Candy. Okay. So, like I said, I want to, I'm going to put these to the side. So I want to do two different ways of doing this, okay? Um, the first way is going to be – so let's go like this because I don't want to get in your guys' way at all. I said I was going to do 3D bubbles down first on one of them. And when I mean first, 
I mean before I blow waves. Okay, so first I'm going to do, I'm trying to just grasp uh, what I'm doing here. <laughs> I've never done anything like this. So usually I would just pour this on. Um, I don't have a lot of resin in here, so I'm going to use my stick. Matter of fact, no, I'm going to pour it on. The way I do it is I always break the surface tension and I do that by putting this over the edge and onto the side. And then I make sure that it's fully covered all the way onto the side. And I am not at all careful about blending my colors. I actually like my colors blended. So again, I like to hold on to it just so that way it doesn't go flying around. We're going to just come along and break the surface tension. And here you can make your wave design or whatever it is that you're making. Of course, mix your colors. You don't want it to be too bulky. You always put a clear, and when you put your clear, I usually use a paper cup, but you can also do this right here. And you're gonna want it half on and half off your color. So you want it on the wood. So you see I'm trying to get right there was like a little spot that didn't want to have it there. So that's why I did that. I like my white in a paper cup so that way I can go like this. And I always start my line before I go onto my board. And I do the same as I did with the clear. Okay. Um, doing this allows, I'm gonna warm it up, pop my bubbles. So I'm doing my regular ocean piece. Now, I think I'm going to add these in here I don't know what this is gonna be like it's my first time ever using them I just think it's a cool idea to add 3d effects we'll see what happens I like the idea of like the bubbles being up on the shore but then I'm not sure how functional a board would be with that with that dimension in there. Does that make sense? We're just playing around right now.
and I'm not sure that you would want it on the whole shoreline. Like, how do you want it? Where would you want it to start? What's going to happen when I start pushing my waves? Is it going to block my wind? Like, what is going to happen? I have no idea. That's why we're playing and testing it out. All right, so let's start pushing our waves. When I do my heat gun, this is on full blast right here, okay? I'm going to go about there, okay? So it shows it and it's about right here. I let it warm up. Okay, so here I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I usually do, but first I'm gonna just do my ocean. I'm just gonna do my ocean the way I would normally do it. Okay, then I'm gonna add my white. And I'm going to make my ocean the way I would regularly make my ocean. So I'm going to start my line, start my pour right here. And I do go off the edge, okay? Like I go off both edges. Now I'm gonna make my ocean the way I would regularly make my ocean. All right, now I spray. All right, so now what I think I'm gonna do, and I don't wanna fuck stuff up, but I think I'm gonna add a clear layer But I don't want to pull that wave forward. It's going to, though. But I think this is the only way that I'll be interested in uh, using something like this. Because I like my stuff to be, like, realistic. I like the idea of the Lux Bubbles, I just don't like them with the white in it. Okay, so in doing this, I want all the bubbles out.
And I just don't want too many, but I like it when you're at the beach and that foam comes up. All right, so I have another idea. That's better than that, but I have another idea. Let's try one more thing. Okay, so on this one, this is gonna be a two-step pour, okay? On here, I'm just gonna lay a clear down. This is gonna be the beginning of my ocean. All right, so on here, I've got my clear. I'm gonna pop my bubbles, right? And I kind of want this to like lay down. Have you ever seen when the water comes up and the bubbles that they leave on the shore, they're so cute. And they just pop, 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 pop as they go. Like, I freaking love them. So that's what I'm gonna go, that's the look that I'm going for, is that realistic. This is gonna be a two part, well, a three part. So, we'll see. I didn't plan on pouring. three boards but but it's what's happening okay whoa all right so I want some of this resin drained out of here. So I'm gonna hold it like this. And this heat is going to lower the viscosity of the resin. I think this could be cool. I definitely think I put too much resin in the 3D bubbles. But getting it out like this is allowing me to do the vision that I see in my head because this is more like what I was talking about. All right, so I'm going to go and use up the rest of the resin that I've got, and we're going to let this do its thing. All right, so this is what we got so far. This was my first one. I don't like how the white came up into it. And this is going to be my last one. And yeah, they're pretty cool. I like that on the dark wood. All right, guys, so everything's gonna be linked in the description and we're gonna come back tomorrow and see what we've got and do the other one the way that I'm gonna try it the third time. So third time's a charm, we shall see. All right, you guys, I hope you got something out of this video, even if it wasn't just to try something out and have some fun. Um, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.